Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to do a website design process video for you guys because I got a lot of great feedback about my branding process video. And if you have not watched that yet, I highly recommend doing so before watching this one because almost all of my clients invest in both branding and website design because they play such a key role in working together to form a cohesive appearance across multiple forms of media and really bringing together that strategy. This is the branding I am working with for this particular website project. This was the branding for a good friend of mine and client, Hannah Johnson, who is an awesome Pinterest strategist. After we complete the branding, I start with a wireframe for the website, which is really just a basic, super, super rough layout of what I think I might want the website to look like. And I designed this with the business model and overall brand in mind. During this process, I usually only create a wireframe for the homepage. Once the wireframe is done, I hop on the computer and start digitizing the wireframe concept on Adobe Illustrator. And this is pretty much just bringing those sketches to life and working with any kind of content that I currently have for my client. Once I'm done creating the digital version, I hop onto the web and start building out the website. I personally use WordPress for over 90% of my client projects just because it ends up being a really good fit since it's so customizable and there are so many features on WordPress. I do also offer Squarespace and show it website design, but WordPress is definitely the most popular among my clientele. After I have created the entire website, I go through three rounds of refinement on Asana with my client until everything is suited to their liking. Once that's done, we've pretty much completed the website portion of the project. And for this one in particular, I actually did a little before and after. I think it's really neat to see the progress and the difference that strategic branding and website design can really make. As you can see, her site was pretty much based on just a really generic WordPress theme before. And now it is so much more engaging from the colors to the branding to the actual website elements. I am really pleased with the outcome of this project. And I hope this gave you guys a little bit more insight into how I produce my websites and come up with the overall concept and actually bring it to life. I also would like to note, I do not use themes on WordPress. I start completely from scratch on a blank slate. So it's not just taking something and modifying it with code. It's a lot more in depth than that. Thanks for watching and let me know if you have any questions in the comment section.